Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. This next question is about water cooling, specifically the direction of flow. Where do you place the pump, the water block, or water blocks, rad or rads, and the reservoir? Well, the first thing you need to know is the direction of flow, and every pump, or most pumps, have an arrow, and that's the outlet. On this one, it's at the top, that's the direction of flow. Also, some water blocks will have a direction of flow, an inlet and an outlet, so check the water block user manual just to be safe. Now once you know the direction of flow on the components then you can go ahead and start plumbing the loop. If you want to just cool down the CPU that's going to be a very simple loop. Just go from the pumps outlet into the CPU water block into the rad and then into the reservoir. Now if you want to cool down everything in the system or maybe you just want to cool down the video cards plus the CPU. It can be a little bit more complicated so let me do the most complicated setup that you could have. Let's just say you want to cool everything down in the system. North bridge, south bridge, video cards and the, of course the CPU. And you want to have a multiple RAD configuration. So here's how it would go. It will go from the pump's outlet into the CPU, then into the first rad. Next, go into the chipset water blocks, then into the second rad. Then, proceeding to the video cards, and then into the third rad, and finally into the reservoir. Now, that is a very complicated loop. And what you can do to simplify that, if you want to cool everything in the system, is just to have one extreme, very large, high quality rad. And here's how that would work. Go from the pump's outlet into the CPU, then into the chipset water blocks, then into the video card water blocks, and then into the very large, high quality rad. And then, of course, into the reservoir. From my experience, though, Placing these different components in different places, to be honest, doesn't really matter a whole lot. You might get one or two degrees depending upon the placement, but of course having more rads will normally mean that you will decrease the temperature substantially. But of course that's a huge plumbing job. The more rads you have, also you introduce of course more possibilities of leaks and it will take up much more space inside the case. Now a lot of setups these days some folks aren't even using the reservoirs you just use a T-line which is really good because you don't get that sloshing noise from reservoir and sometimes a reservoir can leak as well. Hope this answers your question and keep your questions coming.